Hello, I'm Julie Blair. I am the facilitator and science teacher here at the Outdoor Learning Center. Right now, the Outdoor Learning Center is not able to do field trips due to the coronavirus, but guess what? We are open. We are open for virtual field trips. Can y'all see the water? Okay, this is the wetland. Another door that starts with a W. Do you see all the plants that are around the edge of the water? Oh, something's moving the water over there. It might be a turtle. I have some two other things right here that I'm gonna show you. This is a big rock. It's called butterfly boulder because we can put water on there and the, in the insects, the butterflies can go over there and get some and drink of water. But do you notice that there's something else on that rock? Okay, those are snail shells. Those are from the snails, they're called apple snails. So I told you two things. The first one is rock, that starts with an R. Okay, so you can draw a rock or you can just put the word rock, or both. Now, is that rock living? Can somebody shake their head yes or no? Is that rock living? No, it's not living. Good job, Kathleen. A virtual field trip would be me meeting with the students on the big screen in their classroom. I have my iPad, I'm walking around showing them everything in nature, depending on what we're studying in the time, depending on what they're studying at the time that uh, they have the virtual field trip. And I will meet with them, it's interactive. We will talk back and forth and I have assignments for them to do on their iPads based on what we're doing outside here. So it's a total interactive virtual field trip, meaning I'm outside maybe explaining to them about solids, liquids, and gases in nature, and they're able to tell me immediately what is a solid, what is a gas, or if we see something in nature, if we see a butterfly, they can say, oh, I saw a butterfly, and we can talk live, real time. So it actually works really well for us to be able to see all the kids in the district this way. So kids will be able to come out here and see and learn the things that they normally would see in person, but I get to bring it to them through the iPad. So things like we'll get to see the three habitats, which is the wetland, the forest, and the grassland. And they'll get to see uh, wildlife that's living there currently at the time when they're at their field trip. We also have big tortoises that they'll be able to get to see. They love the tortoises that are African sulcata tortoises. Those are uh, here at the Outdoor Learning Center, along with some smaller tortoises that are box turtles. Then inside, they'll get to see the uh, hissing cockroaches, the, the famous hissing cockroaches, the mealworms, and uh, the pond behind me where the fish are. Just because we are not doing the traditional field trip where the students get bused here to the Outdoor Learning Center doesn't mean that this is not effective. The students enjoy meeting with me online, getting to see things real time, and getting to interact with me. Uh, they get to ask questions, we get to, to discuss things depending on what they're studying in the classroom for science. So come join us for a virtual field trip here at the Outdoor Learning Center.